Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and I hope you are doing well. Uh, so, in this video, we are going to learn that how we can use the Bootstrap with the Vue.js. All right. So, there is nothing a rocket science, but still we must have to know the steps that how we have to use it. So, let's see everything with example. So, first of all, let's check out the three points that we have to do. First of all, we have to install the bootstrap. There is a lots of way to use and install the bootstrap, but we will use the recommended way, which is recommended by the view CLI. After that, we will make a new and fresh component. And in this fresh component, we will check the lots of uh, bootstrap component so that we can just get comfortable that how we can use and how we should use the bootstrap components and all. All right. So now, first of all, let's check out the check out the official website of uh, view bootstrap or bootstrap view so here you can see that so when you just open this website you will see there is some menus like documentation and components so first of all let's look out the doc docs or documentation you can see that and here there is a lots of way to install the uh, you can see that the view and here is everything tell here so if you if you just want to use the npm then you can use the npm like this here you can use the yarn and uh, the best way which is recommended by the view cli so we have to use the this one view add bootstrap view all right so we will use this way this way so let's start with it and just install so just write here view add bootstrap minus view and now it will just ask some questions during this installation that uh, kind let's uh, it will just ask that you you want to install the poly polyfill and all so uh, within that time uh, we can just see the next step which is make the component so i am just going to make a new file uh, with the name of let's say active boot or whatever you just want it's just a file name and let's and here you you this is asking about the babel and polyfill so we will say yes we need them now uh, just use the temp template here and we also need to script and in this script we can uh, use simply uh, the name of it so name can be active boot you can put any name to your uh, uh, bootstrap component but i will recommend that your bootstrap component name should be similar to the file name right so now let's see yes this is installed so now let's check how many file it change changes so active file we just made it let's main.js file it added here three dependencies packet.json it will just add the babel and uh, mutate observe observer mutation observers and same in the package.json and babel is here all right so these are the simple things which is added by the bootstrap so now our component is ready i just want to add it inside the app.view so let's import it import something from and its path and we can just simply write here active boot so let's register this component inside the components loop oh sorry component object and now let's uh, use it but you will see nothing now because we did not add yet here anything so we can add some let's say just add a h1 tag and we can just write here active boot component and uh, this is you can see that the text is here so now let's see how we can use the functionality so everything the functionality with the bootstrap view.js is uh, divided in the components so let's say you just want to use the buttons so you can just go on the button so even you can write this code but to save the time i am just going to copy and paste this code so let's paste inside the active boot and 
here you can see that we got the four buttons all right so if i just want to remove the two one then i can just simply remove it here now we have only two buttons uh some more thing let's say you just want to add what form group then this is also great you can just copy and paste the whole code from here that is here all right so here you can see that this is the simple form so i am just going to use this one for a moment right so yeah let's close the tag also now let's see we got the fields and buttons also great and let's say you just want to add some uh, rating and all then there is a lots of things like you can just add the simply rating here right so uh, let's say you just want to add the list group navigation bar modal everything you will find here so i don't think so that we have to go in every and each component because this is just copy and paste of the code so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care